What's up guys, Hong, OG Fitness, welcome to the channel and uh, let's dive into it. So in today's video, okay, you guys have probably already guessed it, I'm going to talk about stick fighting. And this video is really about um, martial art or the best martial art to practice uh, while you're in quarantine. I decided to, you know, like, I can't really do any judo right because you guys who know who know me uh i'm a judoka and i mean there's no mats there's nobody to train with there's you know i can do bands and and of course i can do some shadow uh, uh uchikomis and stuff like that and you know simulate uh, certain aspects of uh, judo training but i mean yeah you know it gets a little bit uh, uh old and boring and i discovered something super fun that you can do at home it's called cali right? Stick fighting. Filipino martial arts, stick fighting. It's fun. And why do I say that uh, I find this to be a really uh, cool way of um, passing the time? You need two sticks, right? Uh, these two sticks here, I, you know, noticed that uh, uh, they're just regular sticks. I actually went to, to a hardware store and I uh, cut myself. Uh, I, I bought a big piece of stick and I had them cut it there. Reason why I have duct tape on this, right? There's i I'll actually link a video that I found to show you how to make your own sticks without having to spend a lot of money, which is cool. The duct tape here is to make sure if you're practicing with a partner with two sticks, you're gonna be banging sticks together. And the last thing you wanna do is have a piece of a splinter, a splintered off piece of wood fly in your eyeball. I consider myself to be a lifelong martial artist. I happen to specialize and my main focus is judo and, and grappling, which is, but everything else, I mean, I it's, it's <laughs> You know, there's not enough time in the day. To be honest, if, if I won the lottery today and I won, I don't know, uh, $500 million, right? Or for whatever reason, I didn't you know, have to work anymore and worry about money. I would be literally training something like six hours a day in all the martial arts that I could uh, that I get my hands on. I'd have a coach for each single one of them. And then after that, I would spend the day, you know, resting, reading, studying, eating, and recovering. To get back to what I was saying as a martial artist, like, there's a lot of aspects of fighting. But then after that, you get into the realm of self-defense and weaponry, right? Which is like part of it too. Like being a martial, martial is, is, is military. Yes, there's an aspect of the, the, the art aspect of it, uh, to it. But I mean, really, you have to understand warfare and stuff like that. And I, it all ties into me in my mind and it's all interesting. What I'm saying is that I've always wanted to learn these kind of things, but I never had time. But now because of the pandemic, I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna play around with this. So I decided to get my two sticks. Uh, you know, uh, I figured out a way, uh, I found a video to teach you how to make them. And then from there, I, I watched some videos and I'm gonna link the two channels below, which I find are pretty cool. If you guys have uh, other ones, then link it down below. This is a skill that I believe Of course, this is no substitute to actually, um, how do you say it? Actually practicing in person with an instructor and having you know a, a someone else in front of you. But I mean, at least it gives you something fun to do. And then th these movement patterns too, like they translate from my understanding to essentially knife fighting, right? If you had like, if you understand uh, stick fighting and the movement patterns from this, I mean, then it allows you to have uh, swords. Like doing shadow boxing, you could get the movement down really well and you can even film yourself and look yourself in the mirror to see if the movement looks the way it's supposed to look when you compare it with uh, other other um, other martial artists that practice the same sport. Things open up again and then you can go and actually practice with somebody because I have a friend who's actually um, well versed in this so he's going to teach me. This is my suggestion to, to, get to you guys if uh, you are you're into martial arts and you have nothing else to do because you're in lockdown so there's no, nothing that's open and think of it this way if ever you're hurt you know you're not let's say functional right in terms of uh you have uh, some kind of injury and you know your, your leg isn't working all that well or whatnot you know and you're not a hundred percent you can still defend yourself if you have a stick i'm coming back to things that are more traditional because i'm starting to see the wisdom in what these these guys are teaching you know I'm not, I mean, of course, there's a lot of people out there who are uh, charlatans and scam artists, but you just gotta be worried about that. I started conditioning my hands and my shins too, just because uh, I started kickboxing with one of my friends prior to, uh, to, to lockdown. 
and I got busted up quick, man. All I'm saying is if you guys are bored and you're going freaking crazy at home, right? And you don't know what to do and you, you're, you're a martial artist and you want, or you want to pick up a martial art, don't wait. Cali, baby. Cali. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's going to bring you to a page where you can follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing, guys. If you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.